I feel like every YouTuber got like that thing that they do before every video, like a trademark type of thing. Um, I think for this channel, what we're going to do before every video is I'm going to ask you guys a sneaker related question and I want to know y'all feedback down below. So today's sneaker related question is, what is the most uncomfortable shoe in your collection, bro? I'm talking about they look good on feet, get girls in the shoe, you can take pictures of the shoe, get thousands of likes. But when you just put them on, bro, they crunching up your feet, they hurting your feet, you gotta take them off. The most uncomfortable shoe in my collection is the Nike Vapor Max Pluses in this red, white, and blue colorway. Now, if you're looking at this shoe right now, I know it's beautiful. It's kind of beat. Mine's kind of beat because I've worn these a lot, a lot. You feel me? I've had these for like maybe, I don't know, one or two years now. I don't know. But basically, bro, when I put these shoes on, bro, they look good. Everybody's like, bro, these shoes look fine. But I don't know what it is about Vapor Max, Vapor Max Pluses, bro. They are uncomfortable to me, bro. They be hurting my feet. I can only wear them for like an hour and I sized up a half a size in these, bro. It's crazy. But let me know your most uncomfortable shoe down below. What's good, sneaker fans? Welcome back to Fly Kicks. It's your boy Keiko. And I'm back with another video, man. It's another opportunity. Thank you so much, God, for waking me up this morning and blessing me with this opportunity to be in front of this camera. I hope each and every one of y'all are having a good day. It's the second video on this channel, so I'm just hyped for it, you feel me? As you guys can see by the title, today's video is going to be very, very interesting. I feel like every sneaker head or sneaker collector or whatever you want to call it, I feel like we go through so many different phases throughout our sneaker career or whatever you want to call it too. We buy shoes, we sell shoes, we get rid of shoes, we gift shoes, all different types of things. And over the years, you'll start to find yourself thinking like, dang, bro, why did I sell that shoe? Why did I get rid of that shoe? Why did I give that shoe to my cousin, Day Day? Every sneakerhead has them shoes that they regret getting rid of, bro. And let me tell you, bro, I have so many shoes that I regret getting rid of, especially how my collection looking right now. Because y'all going to see, I said in my first video that my collection used to be somewhat five. Y'all gonna see that my collection used to be five and I just got rid of them. Today we're gonna be taking a look at my top 10 most regretted shoes that I've gotten rid of, uh, whether it was selling, gifting, whatever it was. I'm gonna give you guys the reason and I'm gonna use actual pictures. I'm gonna show you guys actual pictures of me owning this shoe. Down in the comments down below, let me know a shoe that you regret getting rid of and why you got rid of it. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow me on IG and let's get straight into it, man. My top 10 shoes I regret getting rid of, man. Let's go. All right, so before we get into this list, I just got a little bit of a disclaimer, bro. You're not about to see nothing crazy on this list. You're not about to see no Eminem 4s, no uh, uh, Air Mags, nothing like that, bro. Listen, you're going to see a lot of Jordans, and like one shoe is not a Jordan. But look, bro, where I'm from in Indiana, Jordans have always been a thing that's been, you know, high, sought after, and everything like that. And when I was a kid, I never could get them. So once I started getting my own money, bro, Jordans was where it was at. You feel me? I just love Jordan brand. Let's start this off. My top 10 shoes I regret getting rid of. At number 10, we got the Yeezy 350 V2. Butters! Butter, butter, butter! I know a lot of y'all probably gonna be like, bro, why is this on your list, bro? Like, that's not even a really a sought after shoe like that. It's not really even the fact that it's a butter Yeezy, bro. It was the first pair of Yeezys that I was ever able to pay for with my own money. I missed out on the V1s, I was broke. Missed out on half of the V2s, I was broke. This was the first Yeezy that I was able to get on release day, and it just meant a lot to me. It was just a lot in my heart at the time that meant a lot to me, you feel me? And I'm not gonna lie, this ain't the Yeezy that everyone is looking for, but if you look at resale prices now compared to at this time, bro, I feel like at this time you could have got this shoe for around retail if you if you missed out on like release day and everything like that. Now, I think they're like 300, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but like now it's like to a point where I don't even wanna pay that no more. I, mean, I should have just kept them, but I ended up getting rid of them because I needed a quick buck at the time. And uh, yeah, man, it was just my first Yeezy, bro. I should have just kept these, bro. It's a nice looking shoe, to be honest. Um, but I, obviously on some other people's list, they're probably not going to put this, but this was just what I had in the collection at the time. So let's move on to number nine. At number nine, we got the Air Jordan 12, Jim Red Jones. You feel me? Now, these is fire right here. Sick. Bro, red is my favorite color, and so these is definitely fire. Uh, at the time, bro, uh, at this time, I was working at Finish Line. I used to work at Finish Line. Uh, it was one of my best jobs that I've had, and uh, I just remember on release day, I was not able to get these, bro. I was broke. $7.25. I was making $7.25 in Indiana. I live in California now. But I was for sure broke. I missed out on release day, 
And uh, there was a sneaker store over there in Washington Square Mall, and they were selling these, bro, for a good price. And I think I like traded the shoe and put money with it to get this shoe. And they just, just look at them, bro. They are fire flames. I think I wore these like one time. That's another thing too. For a lot of these shoes, I didn't even get to wear them like that. I wore this like one time, kept them for a little bit, and then I needed a quick buck again, and I sold these Jones, bro. It's a beautiful shoe. Now these shoes is like three, maybe four. I don't know, bro. I haven't checked the resale prices at these. Let me know down below. But that's a shoe I definitely regret getting rid of. At number eight. Now y'all don't laugh at the picture for this one, bro, because I'm actually like you know posing this picture. At number eight, we got the Air Jordan 11 Low Ceremonies. I forget exactly what these are called. I feel like it's called the Ceremonies, but look at this picture, bro. Why was I looking the other way like they caught me with an off guard when I know I was really, you know, doing it on purpose? Like, all right, take a picture of me like this, but look at this shoe, man. This was shoe right here. Uh, at the time, I would say, yeah, they, I mean, they sold out, obviously. Um, but at the time, you know, they had a little hype for them, and then it kind of calmed down. You don't really see a lot of people with these no more. I don't see a lot of people wearing these, at least where I'm at here in California, bro. But this is a fire shoe, and they look good on feet. You can't go wrong with an Air Jordan 11, especially even the low versions, bro. And this gold is just popping, you feel me? But uh, yeah, I haven't seen a lot of people been wearing these. Uh, I forget what I did. I think I traded these, I think, to be honest. Might have sold them back. Bro, I think what I did was I bought them from a place and sold them right back to the place that I bought them from but like a different location. You see, that's how you finesse. That's how you really get the money right there. Uh, but these is fire, bro. Um, I wish I still had these because resale prices on these done went up. That's the thing about a lot of these shoes, is, bro. It's like you get rid of them, but then when you try to get them again, it's like, dang, bro, I don't want to pay that no more because I paid so less when I first had them. You feel me? That's why I regret them. So uh, what was that, number eight? That was my eighth most regretted shoe I sold. Number seven on this list, bro is another Jordan 12. We got the Air Jordan 12 Masters, you feel me? Now these is just a fire shoe, like it's so simple. Got the little gold hints on the little, uh, you know, things. I don't know what to call them. Bro, this is a fire shoe, bro. I remember these right here, bro. I think I paid 120 for these, bro. I'm telling you, bro, that's one thing about Indiana, bro. You go to Washington Square Mall, you can find some deals in the little sneaker store. I haven't been to Indiana in like a year, so I don't know if it's still existing, but bro, I think I paid like 120 for these Johns, bro. And they was kind of like, you know, obviously used or whatever, but at the same time, like they look pristine, you feel me? I never even wore these. You feel me? Like they were already worn. I never, but I never wore them though. But look how good they look. And now the Master 12s is, you know, they, they going crazy. I should have just kept them. I should have just bit the bullet and just kept them. I could have been stepping out. We could have had a nice little collection, but now we got to go back and get everything. You feel me? Bro, these is fire right here. I regret these, bro. I don't even know what I did with these. I feel like I sold these probably too for a quick buck. Making $7.25, man. I needed that money. So, uh, yeah, the Air Jordan 12 Masters is the seventh most regretted shoe I get. What did I love? I'm not saying. It's the, <laughs> the sixth shoe I regret getting rid of, bro, is the Infrared Sixes, man. Infrared sixes, you can't go wrong. There's not much I gotta say about these, man. I caught a deal on these, bro. At the time I was dating this girl, you feel me? She was crazy. Real, real crazy, bro. She ended up like, bro. Anyways, I, I was dating this girl at the time, and um, you feel me? Uh, I was going to Indiana State, I was in college, and uh, we had decided to go back to Indianapolis, to drive back to Indianapolis uh, from Terre Haute. It was like an hour and a half drive. And we went to the Castleton Square Mall, and they had this sneaker store, bro. And these were used at the time. Caught a deal on these. I don't remember exactly how much I paid. But, I mean, it's the infrared sixes, bro. Fah. I know they re-came out with them, but just at the time, bro, just to have a shoe like that and to now just be looking at nothing, it sucks. I feel like this shoe I ended up trading with somebody or selling to somebody on the football team. I might have done that. I don't know what I did, bro. But these is a fire shoe that I regret getting rid of. Um, it's just so much lost out of money, bro. I could have kept these and resold them later or something. You know what I'm saying? It's just a great shoe, classic shoe. Uh, so that's the sixth shoe that I regret getting rid of the most. Fifth shoe that I regret getting rid of is the Air Jordan 1 Shadows, bro. Air Jordan 1s, bro. Listen, Air Jordan 1s are so fire to me, bro. Like, just the different color. I don't care how many colorways they come out with, bro. I will always cop Air Jordan 1s, bro. The shadows, though, 
It's just obviously it's a classic colorway, but they so sexy, bro. I love when the Air Jordan ones they do the black paneling for most of it, and then they add the little color pops, man. The shadows, bro. At one point, and this was the 2018 version, I feel like that's when it last came out. Uh, at one point, these was going cheap, bro. I think I paid like 185 for these, a little bit over retail, bro. And now these Jones is going for like 300. Bro, everyone was saying too, like the shadows gonna go up, the shadows gonna go up. But they didn't for like the longest, bro. So I had bought these, man, and I wore these quite a few times. I probably wore these like five to six times, and that's a lot for me. You feel me? Uh, five to six times, but look how easily they, like you could wear these with anything, bro. Just a fire shoe. And bro, I really, really regret getting rid of these, bro. Um, just cause like the prices are higher, but it's just so far. I probably would just pay resale value again for this shoe. Just because it's so sexy. Oh! The patent leather Jordan 1 uh, breads is coming out this year, too. I got to get them. I got to get the original, too. But anyways, man, this shoe I really regret getting rid of, bro. What's wrong with me? Fourth shoe that I regret getting rid of in my collection is the Air Jordan 3 True Blues. You feel me? Now, this shoe right here is sexy. Bro, Air Jordan 3s is one of my favorites, man. It's like 1s, 3s, 4s. I like 12s, I like 11s, obviously. 13, bro, those are all my ones I like. I pretty much like them all anyways, though. But the Air Jordan uh, 3 True Blues, man, it's just a fire shoe, bro. A lot of people was mad at the quality of these shoes, bro. They was talking about the leather ain't good on it, and that's true. The leather wasn't plush and sexy like we like it, you know what I'm saying? But it's still a fire shoe, bro. You still have to have these in your collection, bro. And I've had like, bro, I, to be honest, I've had like two to three pairs of this shoe, bro. I had like two when I worked at Finish Line, got rid of them. Then I had this pair right here that I had bought later on. And um, you know, this one resale value wasn't going crazy. And it's just a fire shoe, sexy shoe, man. I would love to have it right now. Um, I'll probably end up paying resale value for these. It's just five, bro. I know a lot of y'all probably watching this like, bro, you got rid of so many classic and so many beautiful shoes. I know I'm a goofy, bro. I'm sorry. We're moving to that nitty gritty now. You feel me? My top three shoes that I regret getting rid of the most. We're going to start with number three right here, man. The Air Jordan 4. White cement. You feel me? I had these done, bro. Now, this version right here is the 2012 version. I bought them used. Um, I didn't have the 2016 version with the Nike Air on that booty. I wanted them too, them is fire right now. They're pretty penny right now, even the 2012 uh, version right here, bro. The 2012, the difference, if you don't know the difference, is the uh, cement, I think on one of them is maybe a little bit lighter, but the biggest difference is 2012 version, you got a Jordan sign, uh, 2016, you got the Nike Air on the back. But this shoe is so fire, bro. I mean, you can't go wrong with this. You see my dog in the background, bro. I had these for a while. I got my good wear out of these, bro. And when I tell you how I got rid of these shoes, you're going to be like, bro, what is wrong with you, bro? So I ended up going to a party. This was back in Indiana. I went to a party, bro, and I was at Ball State University. And um, I had, you know, brought like a bag of my stuff. I brought these shoes, and I had worn them. I ended up leaving them at the, the college, bro. And I went back to Indiana State, my other college. And it was like, hey, bro, you left your shoes here. And my goofy ass at the time, bro, I said, Hey, bro, like, I had my wear out of them. I wore them, like, 12, 13 times. I was like, hey, bro, it's whatever. I didn't care. Like, I was so goofy at this time, you feel me? But I got rid of them. I regret it. Just prices right now, and it just was a fire shoe to have in my collection, bro. Now, number two and number one, they're both the same silhouette. Air Jordan 11s, man. Number two, the, the second shoe I regret getting rid of the most is the Air Jordan 11 Space Jam with the 45 on the back. <laughs> yes, I got rid of these, bro. And you, obviously right now they sell for like 400, some you 400 plus, you feel me? But bro, I had these on release day, bro. I remember, bro, the Air Jordan 11, bro, this was the first 11 that I was able to get on like release day. And you know, they sold out, everybody was wanting them, bro. I remember I was working at Finish Line at the time. They wouldn't even give me my discount on these, bro. This was the first shoe. First Air Jordan 11 where they started cutting the patent leather higher. And I technically, I like these better, bro, uh, when they cut it like this. But, bro, these are so nasty. You feel me? Right now, like I said, they're going for 400 plus. I got them for retail. And I think that I sold them, like, 
maybe I didn't even wear these, bro. I sold them maybe like a month later. Prices was kind of good for them, so I sold them. I needed a quick buck, and I should have never got rid of these, bro. I mean, look how far these look. Just imagine how good they look on feet, and I got rid of them. I'm goofy, dog. I'm goofy, bro. Number one shoe that I regret getting rid of the most is the Air Jordan 11 Concourse, bro. Now, I don't have a picture of this, um, but literally, bro, I was working at Nike at the time. This was out in California. And they came out, bro. I won the raffle. I got my pair, bro. And just like the whole time, you feel me? Spending 200, what, I think 220. So maybe like with tax 235, something like that. At the time, bro, it was crunching. I was crunching with my money, bro. And I, I went and I picked up my pair because I was like, no, nah, I can't. I can't just let my pair go by. And I did it. And I instantly regretted it, bro. Like that aching pain of all that money coming from my wallet, knowing I had bills to pay and all this other stuff, was just like, it's not worth it, bro. If you're watching this right now, don't go broke buying shoes, bro. Don't go broke doing it, bro, because the shoes will always be there. You can go get them later. Get your money first before you go get the shoes. And I got the shoes, bro, and I really regretted it, so I literally went and I sold them. I did make more money than what I paid, but I still, still, bro, I just regret it to this day, man. The Concord, obviously, bro. The Concords? I know the original pair, everybody was going crazy. Even people was down over, but even the remastered, the re released pair, bro, like, I regret selling them every day, bro. I don't even know how much they resell for it, but that's my top 10 shoes that I regret selling the most. Let me know a shoe you, you regret getting rid of, bro. I'm gonna go cry to this, because I, I low key have some good heat in my collection, bro. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow me on IG, and hopefully this weekend we get these electric green sixes so I can get y'all with a pickup blog or something like that. Uh, I'm out, bro. Yes, sir!